What up, it's the boy Score here. Check it out, it's another video diary. And today is Earth Day. experiencing you know this weather is crazy that we're having cold days warm days the planet seems like it doesn't even know what it wants to do but um these flowers here i'm going to interview someone they're going to tell you how they take care of them how they plant them from little seedlings how they're distributed to uh, all over the state and uh, it's a pretty cool thing um it's really hot in this this place and uh, it's crazy they got stuff hanging up um they got some different kind of flowers over here it's really cool, so check it out. There are more than 240,000 species of flowering plants on our planet. Since the beginning of time, flowers personified beauty, pleasure, and the perfection of nature. In recent years, pollution has destroyed so much of our green planet. We need to take care of our planet for future generations. I wanted to see about these greenhouses and learn about the true cause of global warming. Are these greenhouses to blame? With farms growing plants naturally, with sunlight and water, how could this be bad for our environment? So I wanted to get the facts straight. I'm here with Ingrid, the owner of Ink Stamp Flower Farm, and uh, how many how many years have you been in this business? 25. We've been here 25 years. 25 years, and you've been growing the same uh, like kind of flowers. Yes. And what do you do with uh? What, how does this whole process work? Start is it a seed, or do you guys cultivate them any certain way? Little little plants. Uh -huh. They're actually called a plug, uh -huh. and um, we put them into these individual little packs. Grow. How do these greenhouses like work? What is like how, what's, what's the whole magical thing behind them? The sun comes in and it creates a warm environment. Even in the winter time, that's why we can grow so all if, kinds of tropical. So if you had this, these would obviously not grow outside. So this acts, you know, almost tropical. Yeah. You can lounge back here with the sun. Certainly, you could put a swimming pool. <laughs> I think I might try that. <laughs> the greenhouse effect keeps Earth warm enough for us to live and grow food, but too much would be bad. Some gases let sunlight in, which warms the Earth, and then blocks that heat from leaving. That's called the greenhouse effect, and it's a natural thing, mostly caused by water vapor. Man is making excessive amounts of greenhouse gases, mostly by burning fossil fuels. And that causes a delicate natural balance to go out of whack, and the earth warms. And that's what you call global warming. Don't expect a Hollywood disaster out of this, but gradually coastal areas will flood and agriculture will be damaged. Global warming is a serious thing, but greenhouses are a safe and natural way to enjoy nature. So I got me a little tree here and I'm going to plant it. I dug a hole in the garden and uh, hopefully in about 20 years, um, you know, it'll create some shade or maybe a swing or they get a, you know, have some kids climb up on it or um, maybe it'll even grow fruit. I really don't even know what kind of tree it is, so <laughs> they just gave it to me uh, out of the greenhouse. So <clears throat> I'm just going to bury this thing here. I guess I'll put in some of this. Uh, potting soil to help keep it fertilized. And 
and uh, put this here. <clears throat> trees help create oxygen, so the more trees we have, the cleaner oxygen we have in the air. All these forests getting knocked over and stuff, you know, it, it's knocking over rainforests and uh, things, it's just destroying uh, you know, our, our humanity and our future for our kids. So, hopefully this little guy will grow up to be like that, or you know, any of these other huge trees. And uh, one day, um, it'll do some good for mankind. And uh, my hands are mad dirty right now. I'm gonna go wash them off somewhere and uh, check you out later. <laughs> so that's a little look at what a greenhouse does, the greenhouse effect and global warming. Um, I hope you guys do your part on Earth Day. Plant a tree, plant some flowers, um, help create some oxygen, uh, create a better planet for your kids, and uh, I will check y'all later.